Hello, this is Shane with RBH Sound. Today I'd like to spend just a few minutes introducing you to a new product that we are releasing in the US market. It's the RBH edition of the Pro Stereo H2. This is just an amazing sounding little in-ear monitor that gives you the very highest sound quality available through Bluetooth uh, by using um, the Qualcomm 8675 chip uh, and true 24-bit uh, capability through either aptX HD codec or the Sony LDAC codec. This is a, uh, actually the first headphone that was available th to use these two codecs, first headphone on the market. Um, and the sound quality is just definitely a step above even the standard aptX. Uh, and certainly SBC codec. Now even if you are connecting this headphone with just the SBC codec, because of the AKM 32-bit uh, DAC that is in this, everything is being upscaled to give you the very highest resolution uh, possible, uh, even through a standard SBC uh, Bluetooth connection. Uh, the AKM DAC is 32-bit, 384 kilohertz sampling rate, and uh, so you're, you're getting the highest quality that uh, you can possibly get uh, no matter which of the codecs you're using to connect your device to the headphone. So uh, just to give you an idea and an example of this, hopefully this will be focusing, um, as you can see here through this Pixel 2 phone, uh, it says streaming LDAC under Bluetooth audio codec, uh, Bluetooth audio sample rate 96 kilohertz. Um, so uh, it will automatically default. If you have an Android 8 phone um, that has Android 8.0 Oreo, it will automatically uh, default to being able to give you the very highest quality uh, uh, sound through the LDAC. Now you can, if you want, actually switch the codecs. So uh, I have the option here of standard SBC um, or aptX, aptX HD um, with this headphone. So um, you know you can give any of them a try and uh, see what you can hear difference wise. I know on my phone I have an LG um, that uses the uh, aptX HD codec and the sound is just amazing. Uh, definitely a notch above the standard aptX. So the other thing uh, we should do here is just open the box so you get an idea as to what's uh, available or what's coming out of the box with the headphone and give you an idea of some of the features that are included. Um, First of all, you can see the headphone. It includes a little ear ring, uh, I guess you could call it, for uh, stabilizing the headphone in your ear and helping it so it doesn't fall out. Uh, you may want to use this with a standard silicone tip. Um, I, I don't think it's necessary. I've taken them off on the set that I've been using here uh, with the comply foam tips. Um, I think it holds in just fine. You really don't need that. It's very comfortable. So, taking this out, uh, you can see the manual that's included, uh, as well as they have a case uh, for carrying, and then the clip, the uh, tips that. Are included. So we have the Comply isolation tips. There are two different sizes of Comply isolation tips that come with um, the H2. Those are very comfortable. Um, also great sound and um, that's what I use primarily. Um, we have the also the Comply Sport tip. If you're really doing a lot of working out. This has a sweat guard. It helps even better with keeping moisture out of the headphone. Um, I, I don't think they're really necessary because 
the headphones have a IPX4 uh, moisture rating, so you're, you're really fine using them even without that. But if you're sweating a lot, it might be a feature you want to to uh, use with the comply sport tip. Um, so then we have the spin tip, uh, or sorry, the spin fit ear tips, which are really a, a very nice. Uh, silicone tip. I'll show you one that's already opened up here. Uh, what's really nice about these is they have the ability to articulate a little more than a standard tip. Um, so uh, they they fit really nicely and uh, they have a great seal. I really like the sound of these tips. Um, possibly my favorite sound. They're not quite as uh, comfortable, I would say, as the complies, but, uh, you know, everybody's ears are different, so you'll just at least have the option of choosing what works best for you. And there's a medium and large in those spin tips that comes with the headphone. So we also have a charging cable and then just standard silicone tips that, uh, that come with H2. So, uh, you know, the one thing I would have to say is um, maybe primarily, other than the sound quality, the nicest feature is that these have up to 10 hours of battery life, which is just awesome. That's really um, nice not having to only go a couple of hours before you have to recharge your Bluetooth uh, headphones. Uh, no, other nice features are a very large controller, which allows you to be able to feel, you know, forward and back or volume up and down uh, without having to look at it. Um, and then the, the cable on this is nice. Um, it's a rubber cable uh, that has a fabric on top of it. So uh, just a standard rubber cable will typically grab, especially if you're working out or sweating, this will... Um, help that to not happen so you don't have the rubber cable grabbing onto your neck or um, other areas wherever it's touching. So, um, but then the one thing that really is necessary with this headphone is using the slider here, which we include, that helps dampen uh, any of the uh, microphonics that you might pick up from from this rubbing against clothes or or other uh, surfaces so um, it, it's nice because you can snug it up right um, to your neck if you're wearing it around the front or back and the headphones fit quite uh, snugly uh, to to your neck and uh, and then you don't have as much cable kind of bouncing around um, so I, I definitely recommend you use this if you're going to be um, listening to these headphones, especially while you're on the go. Um, the other thing that uh, probably want to mention would be our 30-day uh, guarantee on these. So you can certainly give them a try. Uh, if for any reason they don't work for you, then we are definitely um, going to be giving you your money back on them. Uh, but I'll tell you, uh, I've used a lot of in-ear monitor uh, type headphones, and I, I actually like these, I think, probably better than anything I've used, wired or Bluetooth. Um, the sound is just fantastic on them. I, I do really like the ability to have uh, really high quality sound without having to to be hooked into my my phone. Um, so I uh, hope that gives you a pretty good overview of what to expect from these headphones. And uh, feel free to look on our website, rbhsound.com. You'll find them in our personal audio uh, section there. You can order them there as well as on Amazon. Uh, they're available uh, listed under RBH uh, uh, H2 or iTech H2 um, and uh, give them a try. Let us know what you think. Thanks.